I'm Ned, and I, a cute little old dog, and I like to go fishing, but I'm stuck in this stupid truck waiting for my masters to let me go. My mom is a purebred Australian Shepherd, but nobody really knows who my father is, but I think he's either a bear hound or a wolf because I love bear hunting and I'm mean. But it doesn't really matter because I'm tougher and meaner than any purebred dog would ever dream of being. Everywhere I go, people are saying how cute I am, but I just go along with it because I think I'm a rather mean dog. My masters and I are getting ready to go bear hunting and fishing, and I can't wait to sink my teeth into that big bear. It's going to be so big, and the bigger it is, the better it is. We are leaving our driveway and charting our course east, and I cannot wait to begin all the new adventures we are sure to be going to when we enter Hell's Canyon. Luckily, we have our canoe and everything loaded ahead of time, so we can hurry up and get to Hell's Canyon so I can straighten that bear out and sink my teeth into him. And here we go on our road to Hell's Canyon. Come on, people, I'm trying to get there in a hurry, but my masters keep stopping and videotaping me so I can't get there as fast as I want to. Finally, I'm, we're on our way to Hell's Canyon, and I'm taking a little snooze so we can get there faster so I can sink my teeth into those bears and that fish. On the freeway, passing through the Columbia Gorge, we see tons and tons of humongous trucks that keep passing. The sky is full of smoke as we enter the canyon because of the fire back at Worm Spring. Majestically, the sun drops below the smoke-filled horizon of the Hell's Canyon walls. It looks like bear country to me. I can't wait to be, get there because we're so close and I can't wait because I want to sink my teeth so badly into that big mean bear. Oh, there's a deer, but I was hoping it would be a bear, but it's alright if it's only a deer. My master says I have to watch this deer really closely because I've got to keep him out of our garden at home, and I guess I'm doing a pretty good job because it's leaving and not bothering us. Um, last night we got in late after dark and we set up camp right next to Hell's Canyon Reservoir. I've already found an old dead carp to eat on and roll on, but I cannot wait to get down the water and catch my own fresh carp. Ned is checking out things here. Those coyotes in the background don't scare me a bit because I'm a little mean dog and I'll rip them to bits and pieces. Hey, it's my turn to fish first. Let go, it's mine. But before we go fishing, we need to have a nutritious breakfast so we can have enough energy to get out there and catch lots and lots of fish. Now we will slide the canoe in the water so we can get out there and catch some fish all day. The canoe is now in the water and we are ready to go. As we get in the water in the canoe, we see deer scrambling above us, but I'm not allowed to chase deer here because I can only chase them at my garden at home. 
Marjorie finally made it a bird, so now we're re all this ready to go. Trip. Looks like I get the honor of catching the first fish, a little striped perch. Look at there, Ned. That fish looks like a nice one to me. It's almost all dead, and I'm just ready to sink my teeth into him. Another fish? Yay, more for me. Well, just let your pull down, let him bite. Well, that's another little striped perch, I believe. Yeah. Looks like Marjorie has one out now. So I guess we're having a big feast tonight, of the way we're catching these things. No, just flip him in. Oh, it's just one of those like you've been getting. Those little perch. With all this Ned? excitement, I fell over a bird. Oh. Because <laughs> I was so excited my masters had to fetch me out of all this. Do that I was trying to catch those fish myself. But I guess I'll leave it up to them. You gonna net it? <laughs> Bring him over to the net. Look at him. Whoops. Oh. Okay, here he comes. Right in the net. Ooh. Wow, look at that one. <sighs> That's a whopper. Uh. That nice bass. What do you think of it, Ned? Huh? That fish looks really nice to me. What do you think of that? What do you think of that fish? Uh, Marge caught a little catfish. He threw him in. <laughs> Look at Ned. I don't know about that fish. It looks kind of funny to me. And if it's part cat, I don't like it very much. What does Ned think of that fish? Hey, Ned's barking at it. That's a big one, isn't it, Ned? That fish is big enough, it at least needs to be barked at. How long is he? 15 inches. Oh, look, I got one on and my pole is going down. Yeah. Look, Ned's wondering what's going on. Here's the one I caught. Come on, Ned. Come on. Jump out. Remember, I fell out, but now I'm more cautious. But Come I'll on. try to get out, but I won't be so successful. Come on. My chair isn't as tall as yours. Yeah, corn, fish, and salad. Okay, I'll take the corn and the fish, but I'll pass the salad and someone else can have that. Here this fish is good, your piece but of fish, she man. got a little too hot when she was cooking it. Maybe he thought it was too warm, yeah. He ate it, though. I was so hungry, I ate it anyway, although it was too hot. I already thought about any entertainment, so I just have to provide that by myself.
No, not the kennel. I don't want to be put to bed. I want to stay out and do stuff. And chew on stuff. And I want to have fun. At the first sight of morning, we are out checking the crawdad trap. But I must say, the crawdading here was lousy. Any crawdads? Not a crawdad. The water looks really calm this morning. We need to get out there and see if we can catch ourselves some fish. It's breakfast time and we need to drink a lot of water in this sunshine. We loaded the canoe up to go to Oxbow to try some fishing and go to hot some hot springs, but they're leaving me behind, so I'm bringing my leash to go help them. An old mama hen has a whole bunch of little chuckers. I'm supposed to watch them, but I'm not a bird dog, so I'm not gonna watch them. We stop along the road and we saw a whole bunch of apricots and I'm supposed to guard them while my master sit there and pick them. I don't see any bears coming but th they may love these apricots and they could be coming any minute. bunch of apricots and now we're getting ready to go. Look what I picked, Ned. Look at there. I hope you don't mistake me for an apricot poodle because I'm a bear hound and a dog, cattle dog. We've made Oxbor Reservoir and I'm checking to see if there's something nasty to eat. It won't take long to unload the canoe, then we're off. I'm the first one in the canoe and I'm ready to go. No, stay in the canoe. <laughs> Quit messing around, let's get going. I'm ready to go. You ready? Yep. Oh, look at that cat. Oh no, there's He's another one, one of those ugly catfish. Okay, here's a little bass. There's a bass, I that cannot. looks much better than that darn catfish. Ned said that fishing just plays him out. It's getting hot. I need some shade here.
Hold him up again. Let's see that big fish. I just can't believe it. I gotta throw in and get one. That water feels good. I hope one of those big old catfish don't come. We've hiked up to the hot springs and I want to look it over before I just go and dip in. While we're sitting here, we're getting apricots laid out in this nice hot sun so we can have some good food later. It shouldn't take them too long to dry in this hot sun. Is Ned helping? Yeah. Are you helping? Of course I am. It's rice cakes for lunch today. Ned likes rice cakes. sure about these hot springs, they're a little on the hot side. Look at him. The sunflowers sure look nice in bloom. Back to the lake and time to fish some more. How'd Ned like the big catfish? It's still Anything alive. Anything with the word cat in it, I don't like. get out of the lake and head towards camp and we see a mama deer and a baby deer eaten away. The baby deer was so cute it still had its spots. Come on. Go see about the dog. Okay. Time to get up. I said go see about the dog. Come on. Go see Let's about Ned. Up. Okay, I will. I will. Go see about Ned. Up. I will. I said I will. Okay, hurry up. Go see about the dog. Are you up? You gonna go out and sniff? Yes, but as soon as I scratch this flea. You got a flea to scratch, you say? There's a bunny rabbit, but I'm not gonna chase him. We went to check on our apricots, but they were all gone. What does it look like it was here? I Matt? hope they don't blame me. It was.
was those storm deers without a doubt. Do you see those tracks over there? Oh well, well, I guess we'll just have to dry some more. Is Ned helping? Are you helping, Ned? Are you helping hard? Yeah, I'm helping. I'm watching out for deer so they won't eat them again. Are you ready to go? Let's go fishing. Come on. Get up. Come on, let's go fishing. I'm let's go, Ned. Come on, let's go. She was. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. It's not going to be my fault if these aren't here when we back get back from fishing. The, a little lizard is climbing the tree. We've camped right here in the mulberry trees, right? on the edge of the Hells Canyon Reservoir. We're getting loaded up. We're going to go down below the dam and see if we can catch a fish today. Oh no, more deer. I hope they don't eat our apricots. There's some Hungarian partridges. A bunch of mommies and babies crossing the road. There's an old bee, but he doesn't scare me one bit. There's been an old bear apparently in this tree and, and a cave down under his weight. It's plump. What do you find down there? Oh, how are they? Well, they're nice, firm ones. Nice and sweet? I suppose. I haven't eaten any yet. I'm guarding the bucket for a bear. We saw an old bear nearby. He was a medium Are you sized watching bear, the bucket, Ned? He was sh so fat. You keeping the deer out of the bucket? Huh? That's your job to keep the deer away from the apricots. They didn't do a very good job last night. That bear didn't scare me one bit. I just turned my head and acted like I didn't even see him. Big bar. Big Bar was settled in the 1890s and the land was used for farming and fruit growing. The fruit and vegetables were carried by pack horses to the Seven Devils mining area. The produce was of, a, of exceptional quality and was highly prized by the miners. John Eccles and Arthur Ritchie, who are buried here, first settled and farmed the land. Mr. Eccles won top prizes in the Trans-Mississippi Fair at Omaha, Nebraska in 1898 for his fruit. Most of Big Bar is now flooded by water backed up from the Hell's Canyon Dam. Fruit Merchants of Hell's Canyon Big Bar had long been used by Native Americans as a winter campsite when Archibald Ritchie arrived in the late 1880s. He and John Eccles 
farm the 25 acres from where you are standing to River's Edge. Archie and John became well known for their 500 tree orchard growing a variety of fruits and nuts as well as vegetables, hay and grains. The fresh produce was a welcome sight to the miners who worked along both sides of the river. Women came from as far as Bear, Idaho, a long journey to get fruit to can for their families. Archie passed on in 1906 and John in 1912. On this hill, the two old friends lie side by side, looking over the river they called home. A few of the orchard trees remain in majestic silence for us to enjoy. In the spring blossoms drift over the grasses like a dusting of snow, a sweet memorial to the fruit merchants of Hell's Canyon. Been an old bear in this elderberry tree here, breaking it down. So over here, this is John, this is John Eccles. April 2nd, he was born in 1840. He died June 29, 1912. John Eccles. This is Archie Ritchie. And it doesn't have what year he was born. I was being very quiet and respectful at the gravesite. Come on, Ned. We found ourselves climbing Come on, down, let's get down a here. Really rocky, Go fishing. To go swimming in the wild river. Come on. Below. Come on, let's go fishing. Come on, Ned. Come on. Come on. It is sure a dangerous place down here below the dam. The water could come up suddenly. No, it's a little striped perch, I think. No, it's a bass. It said there's no limit on the lake here, didn't it? Yeah. I guess we just saw keeping, huh? Yeah. You're there, Ned. It looks like a good bass to me and he'll be good eating. It looks like she has another fish on and she's sure excited saying she's a big one. I can't tell. Well, you can. I better swim out and see about this one. Get the dog. She let him get away. Yeah. One on every cast. A nice bass. Oh yeah, he's a nice one. And this isn't counting the trout, right? Right. Okay, just a second. I'll get a close-up of the fish. It's a nice bass. How many trout what did we catch? About five. I love going through the tunnel. It's just like a bear's den. We're back at camp and I got 
better go check it out to see if it's John Bear has been here. Come here now. How those look? Are they dry? How they taste? Those Try one. See how it is. It came in store. Uh, apricots while we are gone. Not too bad. You know. Look at these. Come here, man. Ned, yeah, don't! Get back! Grab your end, Tom! Okay, let's go. Where are we going to put them in? Oh, the box! We should put them in. Yeah. Go on, Ned. Get. Yes. Ned. Open. You think this is a big joke? Here, he's gonna jump on him. There's that darn dishwashing soap. If I could reach it, I'd get rid of it because I don't want to get a bath from it. down just to hear more. There. I Ed? have my old rotten fish skin that I'm going to chew on for a while until dinner's ready. I keep it buried under this carpet so no one will steal it. What's the dog doing? He's got that fish skin. What? He's got an old rotten fish skin. And what's he doing with it? Chewing it up. He was trying to bury it under the carpet there. Oh. Why are you letting him do that? Huh? He's burying his fish skin to give it a little more flavor. I'll eat a little dog food just to keep her happy. my piece of fish tonight. Boy, was I hungry. Breakfast is ready. Ned? Ned? Go eat your dog food. Go eat your dog food. Call Ned. Ned? Ned, hey. Are you going fishing? You're there.
Yeah. Huh? Let's see, what is it? Get the net. Oh, he's it. It's a big old bass. It's a big old bass. You can't eat him, huh? I don't think so. How long was he? Fifteen. Ned, Ned. Nice perch. Mm -hmm. Here, Ned. Here, Ned. Look. Yeah. What do you got, Ned? Something good? What Come here, Ned. Got? Let's see what you got. What you it was just an old rotten fish that was no big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Today I found some shade up to lay in next to the hot springs. Hey, look at him. Jump up for it. Look. Here, Ned. All I want is that hot up. dog. I don't want to join up. the circus. Up. Up. Jump. Jump. Here, Ned. Now he's ready for it. We're out exploring the minerals left out by the hot springs. What were they gonna Ned do? missed they the gonna boat! Leave me behind? Oh no, here oh, comes that dishwash and soap, and here comes the bath. Yeah. Get in. Get in. Come on, we're going bear hunting. Get in. Why do we have to get up so early Hurry to go up. bear hunting? Come here. Come here. Come here. There. This is his first bear hunting trip. Bite it. Yeah. Yeah. Look. There. That's good enough. That's good. Now, get, get back. How about me? I Ned? want to go to Creek too. Ned. There's the 
I didn't get to go to McGraw Creek, but oh well, because it was a long hike and there was no bears. That's the Spring Creek Mansion over there. There's some bear signs, but where's that old bear? There's the bear's traps. These traps look fresh. I'm he must be really close. It's the orchard here at McGraw Creek and looks like some very nice Gravenstein apples and I see the bear have been feeding on it. They broke limbs off and under the tree there's the old cabin still standing here. The old McGraw Creek cabin is still standing. The remnants of an old plow and some other farm equipment, part of an old hay rake, are still here. Hopefully reminders of the people that once lived here. That must have been an old cultivator. And over here is some more old farm equipment here. Even an old shovel. And what's left of McGraw Creek Cabin. Still standing. Floor is all caved in in it. Door is open. The bear are pulling boards off here to get insects. The old Saturday night special tub is still hanging on the wall here. The old mowing machine still setting idle here. Where it's set for over 50 years. Is a bear skull right by it here. We're gonna go pick apricots, Ned. You like apricots? Huh? Keeping the bear out of it? Keeping the bear out of the bucket? We saw an old rattlesnake, but he sure looked neat.
Oh!